All right. All right, so um uh, back. Now I've done uh done a little bit of work since uh since last we met. There's been uh, a bit of stuff going on in the uh colossal order forms for uh, CS2. Um I'm just going to take a brief minute and just go over what the uh, what's going on. Just so just so you folks are aware, this is not a world ending event <laughs> and even though it may feel uh complicated and uh inundating and maybe a little a little too much to deal with um it's really pretty straightforward um this uh there's a colossal order uh here let me just mute the sound okay so uh, there's a colossal order release and it just um it highlights this message. It's an important update for CS2 players, blah, blah, blah. It's, um, it's a potential security issue that's found in, in, a tra in the traffic mod. It's pretty straightforward. There's, there's, uh, this is going to sound like a lot of uh, information or maybe too many steps. It's really very, very straightforward. Um, what it's doing is there's a specific DLL or dynamic link library that the traffic mod uses. Um, and it's just a library of different commands and things that uh, the internal stuff in your software responds to with a list of predetermined values instead of using uh, passing everything from the, from the game to the, the software which is Windows in this case, um, to, to execute, run in background, update, modify, whatever it is that that specific DLL is doing. And it, the DLLs can do a lot of different things. They cover a significant area of, of, of functionality. As a matter of fact, they're the core of what makes Windows operate, which is why they're saying it's a potential security issue. Um, anytime that anything can get into your computer and manage stuff or do stuff without you purposely doing it is a little suspect, but you know, Microsoft does this all the time. So games do this all the time, but if it's an, uh, if there's a problem or a potential security issue, it's important to pay attention to that. Um, Okay, don't don't panic. It's there's no need to panic, and please don't try not to get too too frustrated with it. I see a lot of people on the forums and the Discord that are uh, just not sure what to do. So I'm going to try to make it really, really pretty straightforward. I'm just going to go through the steps here, just quickly, and then we'll get on to the game. I I, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this because I'm sure I'm sure you'll get help in the questions form. Um, anyway, so. Uh, we're working to determine the nature of this DLL and uh, we will update you as soon as possible. In the meantime, please take the following steps as soon as possible to secure your system. Okay. Okay. Now your system is not infected just to be clear. However, this is something that they want us to do, which will help ensure that we don't have any security issues. Okay. So if you have, uh, if you've not played the traffic mod, um, then this is not applicable. So if you haven't used the traffic mod, it's, uh, let me just show it to you because not everyone knows. Um, okay. I've got to exit back to the main menu or let it just crash. <laughs> anyway, traffic mod, you'll, you'll know it. It's, it's always on the top 10 page. And the game does, doesn't need to be running for me to do this. As a matter of fact, you don't want the game running when you do this. Okay, so uh, if you do have the traffic mod and have not played City Skylines between Monday and today, in other words, if you haven't played it this week, this is a non-issue. Okay? If you start the game now, as of today, 
it's theoretically possible this is, this could this could end up being a problem for you and you'll have to just follow these steps okay um always uh whenever they issue an uh yeah i mean you should do this on a pretty regular basis anyway but your anti malware or uh antivirus software or like Windows Defender will do this, will detect it um, if it's problematic. If it shows nothing, then most likely this is not, not a problem for you, especially if you add, as they pointed out, if you haven't played it this week, then you don't even have to worry about it. Okay, if you have played the affected version, which I played yesterday, so... Um, it w it was updated, so I didn't have this. I didn't have this specific uh, issue. So, and I played. Well, I, I loaded the game today, and of course, well, it does what it does. But I, I played uh, for a few minutes yesterday as well. So, um, if you have played using the affected version, please go to your and this file path. Okay. Now, all you need to do to get to the right context so you can figure this out. Just copy that link. This is straight from Steam. There's nothing funny or outstanding about it. You just copy the link and you paste it right there. See this? Now I just launched my file explorer, but I, I mean, I have, I, my desktop may be a little bit different arrangement than yours, but you'll get to the same place. Right click and paste. That'll put us in the right context. Now, why are we here? Well, we're here to find a specific file or a specific folder. I'm sorry, it's a folder and it has to be named 80095 underscore 13. That's the one, that's the folder we're looking for. So we can't go up here and search for it. We've got to just look in the list. Okay, and in this case, I know that it exists as 14. I'm assuming this is, this is, yeah, that's a traffic mod. So it should exist in this, in, if this were, uh, if this directory were named 80095 underscore 13, like the article says, 13, then it's something you need to deal with. Okay. If if not, then don't worry about it. Um, okay, so that just brings us to your to your local profile page. That's really all that this complex uh, um, or complex looking uh, path is. It's just linking to your your local uh, user directory. I don't know if you need to know that or not, but that's what's happening. Um. If you want to find it manually, it's in your app data directory under local low. That's pretty much it. Uh, okay, so it says, oh, you're want, going to want to scan that directory, which is a pretty straightforward process. I'll scan, I'll link, I'll right click. Sometimes, like with Windows 11, they'll hide the, uh, the option. You show more options. Scan with Defender. Defender will open. It's open in the other window. And it just, it scanned. It was that quick. So let me just do that one more time so you can see it actually engage. Show more options. Scan with Defender. And you'll see it zip right across the, yeah. See how that uh, progress line occurred? And it just closed instantly because there's, there's, so little data for it to scan and the data is very light, so it doesn't matter. If you want to do a full scan, if you're, if you're trepidatious or you feel that there might be other problems, just go ahead and run a full scan if you're using Defender, if you're running other applications, 360 or, or what have you, um, Bitdefender, any of these, applica any of these uh, antivirus applications should pick it up. Uh, malware bytes theoretically as well should. I don't know if that's specifically the solution, but it is one of them. Okay, now um, now that that uh, that should be corrected, 
in the background that should be just done, you'll generally want to restart just to make sure everything's cool anyway. And then you'll need to restart the game, of course. But um, if you do not locate the folder, use the antivirus, any malware program to quarantine it, quarantine it. If you do, sorry, if you do locate this folder, just you can quarantine it. You can conversely also just delete it. I know this is what they're recommending, what I would say as a, a, a computer guy that does computers a lot, uh, I would say the best other alternative thing would be to just take this, take that directory, and granted this is not the one, but let's say I'm gonna delete it, that's fine. Now, even though it's removed from the registry context, I can still restore it after it checks, or if, if it becomes non, a non-issue, and it'll restore it directly to the same spot where it was. Nothing really secret about that. It's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna put the links to these articles in the description of this video. Um, I don't wanna make it, make it too long, so I just wanted to go through that like a one, two, three sort of procedure. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll help clarify some things. There are a couple extra notes here, but basically just, uh, just understand that these are, these are things that happen literally all the time. They are doing their due diligence by letting us know this, which is, I think, a huge step for Colossal Order or, you know, whomever is uh, posting these. <laughs> I'm assuming it's Paradox or Colossal Order. So. Um, but, uh, the traffic mod is not a hacking mod. It's just a normal mod. So don't, don't worry that someone's trying to get into the back door or what have you. Um, this is, this is probably just fine. Just follow the steps in the procedure. If you do find this, this particular folder, if you do find that particular folder, just, uh, just fix it up and, uh, perform these steps. Just follow them step by step by step. These are not really steps. They're just kind of general setups. The only two things you really need to focus on are these two. And that's it. Find the folder. Mark it. Quarantine it. Whatever way, uh, whatever tools you have at your disposal to do this. It's... Uh, like I said, it's not necessarily going to be an issue, but it is something you want to be aware of and uh, try not to be, uh, uh, try not to feel too overwhelmed and try, try to work some of this out on your, on your own. Because uh, I don't know if, if all the mods are, are, are set up to, uh, to help you understand how your computer works. And it's, it's frustrating for them because they're trying to help 30 people and one guy asks how do I get to my file explorer I mean that's going to be that's a whole different tier of, of problems that you that would need to be resolved or at least questions that would need to be answered thus taking time away from the other 29 people so um, hopefully this helps someone and uh, hopefully uh, hopefully uh, everything works good I've tried the game launched it seems to operate fine I'm not having any uh, no issues with the files, no extra Ethernet activity, so I know that it's not being utilized. Standard operations with uh, stuff going on on my machine. So I don't see that as being a significant threat at this point or really any threat at this point. Um, but just be aware, these are steps to help prevent any harm, and they're, they should be pretty helpful for you. I hope that helps, and I hope it's been somewhat informative and uh, that I've tried to clearly <laughs> explain what's going on. And uh, they, they did a great job in, in outlining this and being really quick with it, okay? Because they found it, I think they just found it yesterday or confirmed it yesterday or last night, so. All right, that's all I got for now. Thanks for joining me. I hope this, uh, hope this helps you out, and uh, have a good day. Stay safe.